Okay, so do you want to talk about what happened in Las Vegas? So I was thinking we can, well, hold on. All right, let's talk. Because I feel like we need to talk. We're gonna talk about all the drama that happened in Las Vegas, uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day, extravaganza of the world, eleganza. Okay, so me and my crew, it was me and my two assistants in the front of mine, we flew to Las Vegas to have a great time. From Las Vegas, we flew to Hollywood. From Hollywood, we flew back to Vegas. All right, so Jeffree Star was in Las Vegas. I said, hey, I'm here too. Do you want to link up? He said, sure. So we stopped at the Hermes store to buy Jeffree Star a gift because I haven't seen him in a while. And honestly, I just kind of feel like I just have to get stuff there. I kind of feel like people, if you have your minds made up, you already have your minds made up. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not here to persuade you. Whatever, okay? Like, I just feel like there's people who come to the videos with their mind already made up, so then why even watch it? So for those of you, Go ahead, leave a hate comment. Go ahead, leave a dislike. Do what you gotta do. You know, here for the salacious titles. But for those who are here for the truth, I'm here to give it to you. So we go to Hermes. We shopped a little bit. Of course, I bought myself some things too. Anyways, so we go to the hotel. I'm not gonna name, name the hotel because I think that's kind of rude if he wants to stay there again, it's like invasion of privacy. So we go to the hotel room. Uh, it's me, like I said, me and my two assistants, we knock on the door. Jeffree Star's bodyguard, I believe at the time, I mean, it's it's like it's like this whole entourage, right? It's like insane. You got Jeffree Star, usually two bodyguards, makeup, hair, and two assistants. All right, this time it was no nothing really different. It was like it was routine, the same like the people. Okay, so we knock on the door. Jeffree Star's bodyguard opens the door. He's checking us out, making sure that we're not like carrying anything or like a threat or whatever. So he lets us in. And then uh, we, I said hi to everybody. And then I tell my one of my assistants, like, can you just go wait outside the door? You know, that's kind of like what I do, like just wait outside the door. Okay. So he goes to wait outside the door, like near the elevators. And so just me and my other assistant in the room. And then uh, I got to meet Jeffree Star's makeup artist and the hairstylist. And then of course the assistant and then uh, the bodyguard sizing me up. Like if I was a threat, but like, I, girl, okay, I'm not. So the guy tab was there. I said hi to him he seemed very nice. Okay, then I gave Jeffree Star um, the Hermes thing, right? So the thing is like, my relationship with Jeffree Star is really not that deep. It's really not like, I, for some reason, I think people think that we talk on the phone every day and then we text every day and they face, they, no. Okay, it's, I feel like really successful people don't have time to just do all that. So my relationship with him is not that deep. And I've, I've said that in interviews, people always want, always want to bring it up. And I'm like, no, like, Girl, no, it's not like, I don't know what is it that y'all think, no. So then, so I was excited to see him. We did like a Instagram story thing. Um, then I gave him the Hermes gift, said he liked it. It was um, like a circus collection by Hermes and I really, really liked that collection. I got it in pink, cause I know that's my favorite color. And he said he liked it and then we left, right? I think that's pretty much what happened. Um, then I believe we came back that night. Uh, yeah, we did, I think we did go back. We ended up going back that night to go to, um, like it was like it was like a, a club called Dreas, very very popular club. Some like super super famous uh, was it like a rapper was playing there, and so Jeffree Star was there. There was no drinking involved on his part. For the, there's rumors that he drinks. There was no drinking. There was no drama. Uh, there was blogs popping up saying that Jeffrey was doing stuff. I'm like, what? what? It's insane. Like, I actually got to see it. I'm like, that's not even how it went down. Like, actually, none of that went down. Like, what are you talking about? So, the, anyways, whatever. So then, uh, Trisha Paytas was there in Las Vegas, but I, I, I honestly don't even like. I know she was there because she was like Snapchatting or Instagram, and like later on she uploaded videos of her being there. But like, I never saw Trisha Paytas, so you know. I can't like talk about her if I didn't see her, you know? Uh, I hung out with Jeffrey the next day shortly, but like there, he didn't say anything racial. He didn't make fun of Trisha. He didn't talk down about Trisha. If anything, Jeffrey just jokes around, but it was nothing bad. Like, I don't know, you know? And the whole thing about, um, what was it? Oh, the whole thing about, oh, he got me the cheapest thing at Hermes. Girl, okay, first of all, that's a joke that I say, like when my friends give me something, I usually say it to their face or behind their back, whatever. I'm, that's just like, that's to me, that's just me being like fun and shady, but it's not meant to be 
disrespectful, right? I can see how people take it disrespectful, but that's just bad, friendly banter between me and my people that I, you know, I don't know. I just, I just talk a lot of shit, girl. And I think Jeffrey has like, he does that too. And I think he has like that, like that twisted sense of humor. And so I don't know. I, I'm not offended by it because I get the, <laughs> I'm laughing because I get the joke. So when I heard people were like, are you upset? I was like, what? That's a total joke. Anyways, the thing is like, I can't, I'm not here to discredit anybody, but if that's how they feel, and that's how they see things, by all means, go ahead. But like, I was there. Like I was there living in the moment, having a good time. I was in Vegas, not for a long time, but for a short time, just have a good time. That being said, um, then after that, Jeffrey left. I didn't see him after, I still haven't seen him since, that, since then. I don't believe so. God, I just have a really bad memory, but no, I didn't see him since then. But I, d I do remember, I do remember one, the, a real conversation I had with him and I told him, I said, you know what? Cause he's recently single. I mean, he just came off all that drama with him being single and breaking up with that guy, right? And I told him, I said, look, like for real, I said, you're single. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of guys out there who are gonna wanna get your attention. There's a lot of guys out there who, who are gonna want you and they may tell you things that, that they like you and they're in love with you. And it just, and I feel like it's all a lie because all they see is dollar signs and all they see is like, Ooh, one of like the richest uh, bachelors in the world at this at this moment, and it's all over social media. And I just kind of felt like, hey, just watch out because you're gonna have a lot of guys in your DM trying to talk to you, and I don't really think it's real. And he was like, yeah, I feel that. And I think he said someone else told him that too. But I was just always just looking out for him as a friend because I feel like back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. People all on me, and it's like I see it. Like I see it like Chanel. I see like both sides. I see both sides of it, like Chanel. So I just told him that, like, I just feel like I, to be cautious as a friend, I was like, you, just, you know, be careful because these guys say they like you and they may not, right? Then um, I don't know anything about the, the tab guy. Like I said, I think I just saw him that one night. Um, I think he was in the hotel the next day. I don't know. All I know is that I had a great time. When I was with Jeffree Star, nothing negative was said about Trish Paytas, nothing um, malicious, nothing sneaky, like whatever. All I know is I'd laughed at jokes. I've heard jokes, but it was nothing that no one like hasn't heard before or anything like that. So, but may, like I said, maybe when he was hanging out with him, stuff was said, but I can't vouch for it because I wasn't there during that. All I can talk about is when I was there. And I feel like, I just kind of feel like it's, it's not that serious, you know? But then I also kind of feel like, <sighs> cause it's social media, like, people tend to want it to be more than what it really is. And you can you can kind of play into it so it could be that. But like, like it just wasn't. Like I wish it was, so I could be like, yes. And then this happened and this happened. So I can collect all these views. And if I get 100,000 likes, do you wait for part two? Like it, nothing like that happened, you know? And I feel like with with all my personal friends, like like Nick Snyder and Petty Page and Dustin Daly and D and like all of them, April Butcher, Michelle, all them, right? I feel I feel like if they do something wrong, I'm not gonna go on social media and cancel them. I'm gonna talk to them as a friend. And I think this is, I think, I honestly think, I do have some fucking, I do have some tea though, hold on. I do have some freaking tea. Okay, I'll tell you that in a minute, okay. I kind of feel like me being as a Leo, I'm just like a loyal friend like that. So I don't just cut people off. Like I kind of talk to them, you know, and then see, hopefully it changes, you know, but I didn't see anything wrong. I didn't see anything disrespectful. I didn't see anything um, that's <sighs> looking down on any type of race or any person or anything. I just, I didn't see that when I was there in my interactions. And I feel like within saying that, some people are gonna believe me and some people are not. And that's fine. I'm not here to like change your mind. I'm just here to speak my truth. When I die, Girl, I'm good because I spoke my truth. I feel great, you know? And like I said, I wish it was more because then I'll just sit up here and suck up all the views, but that's just for my what happened to me. The stuff about the buying the thing at the Hermes store, I do not find that disrespectful. I find that funny because that's how I joke around as well. Brilliant banter. Okay, the T part, the guy, um, the guy tab, right? Okay, I got the vibe. First of all, I'm not gonna disrespect him. 
I don't know him. Um, I'm not gonna talk down. I'm not gonna do anything like that because that's not the type of person that I am. But I will say, since you wanna know and we're here, when I was there in the room, I generally got the vibe that this person, Tab, I have not seen him, I haven't seen him ever, okay? And from what I got the vibe was like, he was Jeffree Star's friend for many, many years. But there's been so many years that they haven't clicked in a while, they haven't hung out, right? I think he knew Jeffree Star at a time when he wasn't as, uh, what, I, what I like to call leveled up, right? So maybe he knew Jeffree at a time when Jeffree was like a struggling artist, and now time has passed, and he's hanging out with Jeffree Star again, and Jeffree Star is a freaking millionaire, and there's assistants and bodyguards, and people are walking in with assistants and bodyguards, and it's like, it could be overwhelming. And I think that's the vibe I got from Tab, is that he felt a little bit overwhelmed by all of the the fluff, you know, by all the people and all the all that. Because if I watch the video, he kind of he kind of said that like he was he hadn't spoken to Jeffrey in a while, and then like just like a different Jeffrey, you know, because you feel like you level up. And I feel like when you level up, people kind of like, well, you've changed, or, or like, what is all this? Like, you didn't used to have this before. So maybe maybe all that. That's just the vibe I got. I kind of felt like. He was expecting like an old Jeffrey that he knew years ago, but like, you know, be like I give it to you this way. Like I used to, I used to be a very very nice, very very nice person. But then when you have people breaking into your house, trying to end you, send you death threats, you're just a little bit not so nice anymore. You know, I'm still nice, but like I just I'm more guarded because of all that negativity. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of felt like maybe. He was like shocked by how much Jeffrey has leveled up. And he was, I don't know, but that's that's the vibe I got. Not disrespecting him. He was uh, super nice to me, super respectful. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to um, take away his truth, but he spoke his, I spoke mine. And my side is, I really don't think there was much to it. Whatever, you know? I, I wish it was more. I wish it was, oh, yes, but no, it was, it was none of that. Believe what you want. Girl, not bothered. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.